it's not really much much else to be said. We're the best in the business, and you can turn the tape on and you can see it. Working in that secondary and having Stefan in there now, how, how have you felt the impact that he's bringing? I love it. Uh, you know, it's it's not it's not a lot of a lot of times you get to play with a defensive defensive player of the year uh, at corner position, and uh, he's a, he's an older guy, he's a smart guy, and he just brings a lot of knowledge to our to our back end, to our to our safety room, to our to our cornerback room, to our whole entire secondary in general. Uh, you know, we pick up a lot of things from him, and uh, he's going to help us tremendously. When you look at the offense, Dak has talked so much. I mean, he said yeah, he felt like it wasn't an issue him not playing a preseason game because he gets the best reps going against you guys. From your vantage point, how have you felt? the ways that your unit pushed him in the offense to grow? Uh, you know, from my vantage point, just in me personally, you know, I, I, I would have I liked to, I would have liked to, to hit somebody. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. Uh, we did the same thing last year, and I came out in the, the Bucks game, and I was fine, even though I did get hurt. But I was fine with making tackles and things like that. But, uh, you know, to go, you know, to the test of what Dak said, uh, you know, we push each other every day. And uh, it's been the same. It's been the same for us on the defensive side. Uh, me going against those guys like, like Peyton and, and Ferg. Uh, you know, those guys are, are, are trying to find their groove in this league. And uh, you know, they come out to practice and they're ready to work. Uh, so I get good work with those guys. And then just coming out of the backfield with Tony and Rico, uh, it's, a, it's a lot of good work for me. Uh, and as far as the same with Micah and uh, just those other guys like Trayvon going against CD and and MG, and then you got uh, Brandon. So. Uh, we all push each other, man, and it's, it's just continuous work. So uh, going out there against someone else, uh, I don't think it'll be too bad because, you know, we, 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 we compete week in, week out, day in, day out, and uh, I believe we're the best defense in the business. We just got to go show it. So so I, I, I would say Dak, Dak's getting uh, – he, he's competing against the best uh, every day. As far as Dak and McCarthy and the offense figuring out their new system, could you feel their growth and them gaining chemistry? Yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, Dak, Dak is Dak is a huge football guy, and uh, Dak gets gets together with those guys uh, constantly. He's just trying to just trying to, to gel things gel things together uh, before we get out there uh, for that week one matchup against the Giants. And uh, you can just tell that the chemistry that him and him and Coach Mike has already. Uh, it's going to be special this year, uh, especially with adding a, a veteran guy like Brandon and then CD is going to do his thing. And then now we got TP that's getting the full workload. And uh, I know he's ready for that. And uh, you still got those guys up front, you know, Zach, Tyron, you got Terrence, Tyler, you know, both Tylers. And, you know, they they, they, they get the job done. So, uh, you know, I'm excited to see what this offense will do this year. As far as for you guys, next step, led the league and takeaways two years in a row now. How do you motivate yourselves for a next step? And what's DQ's messaging on that front? Uh, three is better than two. Uh, so, you know, why not do it three years in a row? Uh, that's our goal. Uh, you know, we, we, we live by the ball is talking to you. You just got to listen. So, uh, you know, every opportunity we have to, to go out there and make a play on the ball, you know, uh, DQ's on us to, to capitalize on those type of opportunities because, you know, they seldom come in this league, uh, you know, with such great quarterbacks and uh, great guys that receive a running back. So, you know, when you have opportunity with a guy holding the ball loose or a quarterback putting the ball in harm's way, you got to capitalize on those opportunities. As far as looking ahead to facing the Giants and the rest of this division, you talk about being eager to hit some guys. What are you looking forward to as far as finally taking on those teams? Uh, you know, I'm just, I'm just ready. I'm ready to get out there and just play football. Uh, you know, I got some unfinished business, and uh, me personally, I just feel like I got, a, I got a lot, I got a lot to prove still. And uh, I'm just ready to get out and play football. I'm just ready to, to go show what I can do uh, on a consistent basis. Uh, so, third, third year is a charm. So, hopefully. Hopefully, I can, I can show everybody what I'm, what I'm truly about. With your contract situation, how does that factor in? It's part of this business, man. Uh, it's part of this business. I just, I just go play football. I can't, I can't do anything about the contract situation. Does it motivate uh, you though? Uh, yeah. Either, either way though, I, I have to go play good football regardless. So, uh, you know, that's, that's, that's just what I, that's just what I, I move, I move by understanding that I got to go play good ball, uh, or else. You know, regardless of what I feel like I'm worth, what I feel like I deserve, it won't come. Uh, so, good football is, is my main is my main objective, my main thing that I have to do, and everything goes to handle myself, God willing. Finally, we, we've seen how number 11 has pushed a lot of buttons and motivated guys this camp. What do you expect out of him? Uh, I expect the defensive player of the year type year from him, hands down. Uh, if I was a betting guy, my money's on him. I just seen the way he, he's came in this year, different than the the, the previous two, and uh, 
he 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 has the ability to 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 wreck wreck a game at any given moment when he wants to. So uh, the type of impact I'm expecting him to have is not only for the defense but for the team is is tremendous. Uh, like I said, if I was a betting guy, defensive player of the year is is the type of type of year I see from him. What's his biggest difference? Is it conditioning? Is it just everything? Uh, just his mentality, just his mentality and how he's attacking things and how he's approaching things this year. It's much different than I've seen uh, in his previous years. Uh, he comes in and is, you know, I'm, I'm, that, I'm the lion. And uh, he, 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 lives, he lives like that uh, throughout the day, throughout the week, uh, Jesse. Like, I'm the, bad, I'm the baddest guy. I'm the baddest guy out here. And, you know, he, he, he's shown that. So that's the, that's the biggest difference I've seen from him, and he's shown it. Thanks, Jerry. Thank you. People often talk about they talk about offenses creating mismatches, but you're a defense that can kind of create mismatches too. Can you can you talk about that? And, and is that is that perhaps your greatest strength defensively? If you're looking at an identity, just your ability to kind of change up and do whatever. Yeah, uh, we have a lot of guys that can play a lot of different positions, and uh, you know that 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 plays that plays into into us being a, a, a good defense. Uh, you know, you don't have a lot of teams where you can have a guy that can play off the ball and can be a top five linebacker, or you can go get on the ball and be one of the best pass rushers in the league. Uh, you don't have guys, you know, you got Bland that can go play outside. Bland, he can play inside. You got guys like myself, Donovan, and Bell that can go from the safety position and come down and help at the linebacker position. Uh, you know, we're doing a lot of different things now, working a lot of different things to where, you know, we're putting guys in positions to, to go out there and make plays in, uh, in, different, in different areas, uh, you know, because they're capable of doing that. So uh, I think that just helps us a lot because, you know, you can't key on, oh, he's going to be here or he's going to be there. Uh, you know, we have a lot of flexibility with the things we can do because we have a lot of great players that uh, Coach Quinn, Coach Witt, Coach McCarthy uh, brought together for this defense, and, you know, we just gel together. Is that how you feel you're different than if, if you look at some of the other outstanding defenses that have come before? Is that maybe your calling card is a little different than some others? Yeah, I think I definitely think so. Uh, you know, this game has changed so much, uh, you know, from the great defense that I watched uh, growing up, you know, whether it be the Broncos, whether it be the Ravens, whether it be the Bears, uh, that type of thing. It's, it, the game has changed so much, so you have a lot of – a lot of different things that the offense try to attack, and uh, when you have guys that you can put in put in that position to not lose not lose ground in the run game or in the pass, you got guys that can just that can play every down rather than having a linebacker you have to take out the play the pass or something like that. So uh, I think that definitely give us uh, the upper hand when it comes down to just being in the best best position to, to go out there and succeed because we have a lot of guys that can do it. It looks like overpowering defenses that were always considered like the great or you impose your will. It's just a different offenses now could could pick that apart because of Yeah, they, they spread they spread the game out now. They want to play this game with some space. Uh, you know, you put guys in space that can't really move well and, you know, you create mismatches. But uh, like I said, when you have a, a bunch of guys that we put together here uh, that can play in a lot of different positions and, and you don't really lose anything in the run game or the pass game, uh, I think that just gives you the upper hand. So, you know, like I said, we have a lot of a lot of guys that that can play a lot of different positions. Uh, you know, we, we, we brought guys in that played corner and we moved them to safety. In the pinch, they can move back the corner and go play good football, as we've seen with uh, Izzy uh, that last last year's playoff run. Uh, so you know, you just don't you just don't have that a lot of places, and uh, that's something that's unique that we have here. Thank you. Thank you.